in this video I'll show you a comparison between two Parkside X20V team batteries, X20 20 volts batteries. Uh, both batteries are 2 amp hours, not the 4 amp hours. Parkside 4 amp hours are a bit larger and heavier. So I choose to have this uh, 2 amp hours, but look I have a problem with the old one. It's the charger wouldn't charge the battery because I depleted the battery so I really had to get a new one and when I got the new Parkside battery, cordless tool battery I realized that they made some changes to it it's not the same anymore and also the model, model of the battery is different but the connector for sure is the same the, the, the format is the same you use the same tools and the exterior is very similar, small differences like this uh, this charge indicator, the plastic looks a bit different that's, that's the depleted one this is, it came fully charged I think it's not maybe fully charged but it's ready to use and yeah, I will use actually the new battery to jump start the old battery, I will put a link to a video in the description maybe you will watch that first but the difference is that the old battery is PAP PAP20BA PAP20A1 and the new one, new battery is PAP20B1 PAP20A1 20 versus PAP20B1 they have differences on the exterior you see that the new one has a QR code little bit different the writing and most important the new one has balancing I'm not sure if the old one had anything about balancing but I don't think so there was nothing I don't remember seeing anything on the box about cell balancing you see here they advertise it very well here longer battery life it's a big deal to have cell balancing and also that's the PAP20B1, PAP20B1 that's the new battery model for the 2 amp hours uh, this is the barcode and other writing on the box it's... Um, there is a thing about the old battery I was able to deplete it actually because usually this uh, the the safety feature that will cut the power to the battery is usually in the tool for Parkside, I don't know why maybe so it's cheaper but I believe this safety feature should be the cutoff should be in the battery so if the battery will be depleted for any reason if it gets shorted somehow maybe not shorted but uh, somehow the, the, it's, it's drained slowly the, the battery itself I believe should have the safety cutoff for the low voltage and not the power tool like this because the battery didn't have anything like this it was showing me red when I was pressing the button but it didn't really stop me from using it so I kept using it until it was depleted I was able to jump start it back to working condition but I had to get another battery because it's, uh, the charger wouldn't do it and I could have used another uh, power supply but I thought maybe I really need two batteries it's good to have two batteries, have one charging while I use the first one and then when the second one is ready, start using the second one and charge the first one and keep them going in rotation like this and you see this is the old one it keeps blinking when it's blinking, when the charger is blinking like this, it's refusing to charge it for some reason, either because the cells inside of the battery are not balanced the battery is made of multiple smaller batteries and each one has its own voltage and if one of them is not the right voltage it could become unsafe and that's why it's refusing to charge it this is a safety feature actually so you might want to really just recycle this battery take it, take it to a electronics waste recycling center or ask Lidl where to take it in your country where to where to dispose of the old battery but you could also try to jumpstart it 
if it wasn't in this state for too long, it's really it's a risk. You have to think about it if it's worth it or not for you. The batteries they do have a temperature sensor inside, so if they the cells inside they get too hot while charging, the charger will stop the charging. Also, the battery. I don't know actually if it hap what happens if they get uh, they overheat while you use them. That would be interesting. <laughs> yeah, you see this one. The top one is really depleted. And yeah, the new one. Yeah, I think the new one also doesn't have the safety cutoff feature. I don't know why I feel like this. I will try it, but I'm sure it doesn't have it really. Probably the C1 version, whenever it's gonna come up, it will have the safety cutoff feature inside the battery. Actually, that feature should be both in the tool and in the battery for the safety. Yeah, this, this is the... Uh, the battery comparison so it really depends when you bought it uh, it doesn't really matter i mean it's nice to have the new one with the cell balancing it, uh, it will last longer but it doesn't mean that you have to throw away your old batteries and buy the new ones when you need to you will buy the new one and this is what i did now i had to buy a second battery I might use it as a power bank or it would take turns when I use the drill. I don't really use the drill much, but I do use it sometimes. So it's nice to have the two batteries. Usually the tools, they always come with two batteries when they used to come with batteries. Now it's more like uh, you buy the battery separate. I hope this video helps you and let me know in the comment section below if you use the Parkside batteries and which cordless tools you use you use a drill or uh, what you use uh, impact drill or a regular drill or any other tools and if it's parkside or other brands and how you find them thanks for watching